John chapter 6. Reading from verse 48. John chapter 6, reading from verse 48. Jesus says, And I deliberately use a particular tense. I did not say Jesus said. Jesus says. He says to us today. Because it is his word that is living today. This is what he says. I am the bread of life. Think about that. I am the bread of life. He did not say I was or I am going to be. This is a present continuous tense. This is what he is to you today. This is what he is to me today. That is what he says in Psalm 34 verse 8. Taste this bread. Eat this bread. Enjoy this bread. I like to eat me this bread. But me this bread is nothing to compare with this bread here. This is the bread of life. This is the bread of eternal life. And it says, taste it, and you will see how nice, how wonderful, how sweet it is. He says, your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and die not. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. This is my flesh. Are we to eat of uh, his sinful flesh? Because he has sinful flesh. It is not that flesh that he was talking about. It was his divine flesh. It was his divinity that we were to partake of. His humanity is our humanity that is bad bread, that is stale bread. We gotta go. We want fresh bread. We want the divine bread. And it was through the brokenness of his, or our steel bread, his flesh, that we can now receive his divine flesh. It's made accessible to every one of us. That is what he wants for us to eat. That is the sweet manna that is from heaven. He says, this is the flesh that I give, which, will, which I will give, for the life of the whole world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So they are looking at the carnal. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I said, Ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. Ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drinking thee. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Verse 63. It is the flesh, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth what? Nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The time has come when we will stop living in the physical. When we will stop looking at the physical. When we stop desiring the physical, the time has come when we long after the spiritual. The physical will look after the things of itself. Let us desire the spiritual. Forget the foolish clothes. Forget the foolish house. Forget the foolish journey. All of those things will come and they will go. The spiritual, when you delight yourself in the spiritual, God says, He will look after the temporal things. Let us focus our minds upon the body of God.